PD. Hey, what up, girl? Put my glasses on out the door. I'm gonna hit this city Let's before go. I leave. Brush my teeth with a bottle of Jack. Cause when I leave for the night, I ain't coming back. Hey guys, it's Seven Daily Sense Premades. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on shatter glass. I just got a request from one of our raffies that they want to do this type of effect. When they show me the picture, I basically could tell that right away it was a texture. It's one of those things when you're an editor, you kind of, you know, know what is what. So basically, that's what I concluded. So I'm going to do it from my perspective, see if I'm right. So I have a picture. Uh, you could prefer a darker one. Um, I guess when they did their um, actions or color sequence it makes it pop out but for me to show you I'm gonna do a dark black and white picture so let's do this a little bit wider because I want to add the rain thing texture that I have here I'm gonna include these in the description box so that you guys, you know, you guys can mess with it a little bit more. And I kinda like it right there. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do for it at the moment, just going to darken this spot with the background color that she has. Oops, wrong layer. Just make sure you do the background layer. And I know the color is a little bit off. Doesn't matter if it covers her just a slightly bit because the rain texture is going to take care of that. And I'm going to do the rain one, make it appear again so that when I do it over, you see how it kind of like filters that side too now. And now I'm going to start erasing her a bit. It's not really her, it's just a rain texture I mean sort of erasing. is going to be doing a quick texture so that we're able to view this effect this is the texture I'm going to be feature also in the description box for you guys and uh, let's do it 700 it's still pretty big and all we're going to do is basically drag it to the image I should have done a darker rain effect. So let me just darken this a bit.
I just darken it so that you guys are able to see it a little bit, you know, better. See how it sort of pops out? I wonder if I could rotate it. I will slow it down the steps, so I just want to see if I'm able to mess with it first. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I see. So many ways to, you know, rotate it. So basically, what I did was. You go over here in the layers, and of course, when it's normal, it's like that. When you you know drag it into your picture, but you go down to whatever you like to. Oh, you have to do a scroll down with your mouse if you have that feature. And there's different ways. There's exclusion that probably looks better, but I like screen because it makes it brighter. And then you can erase this part because it makes it look like obviously it's a texture see how it kind of looks like it's really in one picture shattered And so for, I'm going to be doing this little feature right here. I don't think I have the border thing, but we'll see if I could do something similar to that. So I head back to the background, and I'm just going to copy a small, I use this tool right here. There's her face. And all I do is hit copy. You see over here, there in your layers, you can see that there's a copy of her face. And then you hit Control T for basically it's the free transform, you, you know, Control T right there. But I'm already so used to messing with it that I kind of know the the key keyboard commands for it. So and you hit the check mark because that's what you like. Then I'll do it over. If you want to see that again. See how it was on top of the background because we copied it. You hold it and drag it to the top. See how she's right there. Then I grab this little pointer so I can move it. And let's make her, let's put her right there. And then you hit the right click button on your mouse and you hit blending options and I hit stroke because that's the border stroke and I like to do the inside because it makes it more squarish and I don't think I have much of the patterns yeah I need to get more patterns but but for now let's just do a color you know what, let's do gradient. I have a bunch of gradients. So I kind of sort of like the background. Let's see if I have any other ones. Oh, I like that one better. And let's make it... Sorry, my mouse. Let's make it two, so it could be a little bit smaller. Because three makes it look bulkier if you want to see three again. See, it looks a little bit bulkier. Let's do two. And then you hit OK, and it's right there. And now, let's see what else am I missing? And just put my name. And let me try to see if I could find. Let me flatten this first. If you want to see that again, it was flatten image layer. Think. I think the kid used a different 
it's like an animated um, thing that he did. Let me see if I can find it. Thought I could do it. Thought it looks a little bit cooler. I think that's the one. I think he did it before the the glass texture. So what I'm going to do, half tone pattern. I'm going to duplicate it, then do that. I think he had yeah half tone. And let me see if I could. You can mess with these settings um, to your liking. You don't have to do this part, but I just want to do it to show. Then, this is the reason why I did two layers so that I could go back. And of course, um, he did it, I think, before he did it separately. He probably just did his face. So, I'm just going to go around Megan's um, body. So that the glass won't be affected by that. And then I'm just going to mess with it so that it won't be so like in your face. See how it's right there. And you press OK. You see how kind of like a replica in a sense. Squares, squares, and I'm just going to flatten it. That's pretty much it. And I hope my Afi is happy with my explanation of this tutorial. And the rest of you guys, I hope you liked it as well. Thank you.